So using the file, we're removing the gel from the nails. Um, these nails had hybrid gel on first and then they had a gel colour on top so we're going to remove most of it just leaving a small amount of the original hybrid gel just to give it some coverage before actually um, putting the, the new product on there. So you can see from here that there's just a little bit of gel left on the thumb. Um, there's quite a, a big amount of uh, hybrid gel underneath so we're just going to smooth that out and remove that from the nail plate and make sure that all of the bits of gel have come off all the colour um, so that we can finish prepping the nails. Once we've done that, we're going to do the cuticles. So we're going to use the cuticle pusher and um, push back the cuticles, removing any extra bits of skin or debris that's on the nail plate. Next we use a brush just to get rid of all of the dust, give it a good brush, um, remove all the last little bits and then we can spray or take a wipe and wipe over each nail to get rid of all the dust and um, get ready to do the next stage. So now we're going to put the nail forms on. These were not the easiest ones I've had to do. Um, they're a bit difficult to, to get the um, ends to join, but with a bit of fiddling and perseverance, managed to get them on and push them over and seal them and fix them in place. When you're putting on the forms it's important to get the beginning of the form just to go right underneath the nail edge uh, the free edge and really you don't want too much of um, a free edge on the nail on this particular one we were trying to grow the nails so um, 
I left them and didn't trim them down uh, but it can make it a bit tricky when you're building with the, the sculpture gel or the acrylic or hybrid gel um, it can make it a bit difficult you can end up with them sometimes sloping downwards too much um, but in this case it's you know as long as you can get them right underneath the nail um, and the client can feel it when you put it underneath there and you can keep it really straight then uh, it should be okay so once you're happy with all the nail forms being fitted you want to get some um, primer of some sort uh, or bonder depending on what product you're using um, in this case we've got young nails protein bond and I, I apply two coats of that to the natural nail just to the nail plate before putting the product on and just give it a second to dry Next you want to apply a small finish layer of the base gel, um, just put that over each nail plate and then depending on the brand that you're using you want to put that under the LED lamp then for 30 seconds or it could be 60 seconds depending on the product. So decide on whether you're going to be using a clear uh, gel or whether you're going to be using a colour and then get out the slip solution and pop some of that into a container and get your brush ready. So you need to put your brush into the slip solution and give it a wipe and then you'll be able to use that when you apply your gel. In this case we're going to use um, clear signature gel. Um, so squeeze a small amount out, um, use a metal tool just to take it off and then you can apply that onto the nail. So use the brush like you would do when you're applying acrylic just give it a gentle pat down um, you can actually just pull the product slightly as well um, the slip solution just helps it to keep moving and, and stops it sticking to the brush and then you can shape the gel into the nail shape that you want obviously the advantage of using forms is that you can um, choose the number and the length that you want it to be and then follow that on each of the next nails that you do so you're going to follow the same process for each one squeeze a bead out pop it onto the nail plate use the brush and gently pat and then um, push the product down carefully
with the signature gel, once you've applied it to all of the fingers, you just pop it in the lamp. Um, put that in there for 60 seconds. And then when you bring your hand out, you want to use a lint-free cotton pad with some um, gel wipe-off solution on and wipe over each nail and then pull off the forms. So the forms, you just literally undo them and pull them downwards carefully underneath the nail so that you don't pull and um, then you'll be ready to start the filing process. With the filing, you need to make sure that your file has already been prepped um, so that the edge isn't too sharp because if you don't prep your file you can cut the area around the cuticle so you just need to be really careful with that. Um, use the file to do a really straight line on the side wall um, of each side of the nail I usually do that first and then I go around the cuticle area, uh, sweep the file across the one side and down the other and then you can file the top of the nail um, just to make sure it's really nice and thin at the end and use the file just to finish the, the shape of the end off. And then just keep sweeping the file to and from across the nail plate. Um, keep checking and having a look and then you can see whether there are lumps or any sort of bumps or anything that you need to just smooth over. Um, if you've put the gel on pretty smoothly you won't have too much filing to do. Um, again it's just practice makes perfect with that. filed you can use your dust brush and uh, just brush off any of the residue if you're going to be putting a nice clear polish on top it's best then maybe to use the white block buffer and that will take off any of the surface scratches from the file and then you'll know it'll be nice and smooth for when you put your gel paint on there if you're going to be doing glitter or something a bit more um, bumpy then don't worry too much about using the white block on the nails it's fine just to finish it off with the the file and then use the brush to get rid of all the dust and all the dirt bits and pieces off off the nail um, before you start your, your painting and obviously turn the hand around so that you can check from all directions to make sure that it's nice and smooth and um, the finish is how you want it to be. Mm -hmm. 